New Jersey was the last northern state to even attempt to abolish slavery and was probably the northern state with the strongest sympathies towards the South. Because it was the southernmost northern state, it had a lucrative trade policy with the southern states. New Jersey's known as the Garden State. We're known for our blueberries. We're known for our corn. We're known for our peaches. But we're not known for the slaves that were here tilling the soil. We're not known for the whole history of slavery connected to New Jersey and how slavery was the underpinning of much of the wealth of New Jersey, particularly in this region. Uh, when you start looking at everything that the African Americans did here in New Jersey, you can start all the way down to the shore and bring it all the way up to the tip of New Jersey. All of my education is here from kindergarten through a doctoral degree. Never once did I, certainly in, in elementary school or high school, learn anything at all about the enslavement of people in this state. We look now and say, how do you reconcile with this? How, how can you be pastor, if you're talking to me, how can you be a pastor of a church that had enslaved members? Well, here's, here's the only thing I know, and that is we have got to tell our past. We've got, to, we've got to acknowledge it. You've got to tell the whole truth about it. There was a time when people would say in our culture, in today's culture, well, slavery was bad, but not that bad. No, we've looked at it more carefully. Slavery was a gross evil. The colony of New Jersey was founded for prosperity purposes. And the concessions agreement of 1664 actually awarded settlers for the number of enslaved people that they had. So they could, depending upon the value of that enslaved person, could inherit anywhere between 40 and 150 acres of free land. So from the very beginning, our thoughts were on prosperity, on making a profit. As time went on and New Jersey shoreline became even more important for trade, enslaved people were used to work on the docks, doing all kinds of jobs, loading, unloading, in the production of, of ships or any maritime equipment that was needed. New Jersey uh, was a northern state that made a good deal of its fortune out of furnishing products to the south. We gave the southern plantations what they needed to be profitable. So New Jersey in particular was famous for its leather goods, for its belts and its buckles and its boots and its whips. Bergen County has an extensive shoreline and there was a good deal of trade that went on the Arthur Kill, the Hudson River, that it was Bergen County, so they used a large number of enslaved people in the making of maritime equipment, in the shipment of other goods to Europe and, and other places. So at one point, I believe, the enslaved population of Bergen County was 20% and above. So it was a quite substantial number of people who were there enslaved. Were slave auctions done here? Yes. Were slave ships docked here? Yes. Were people come off in chains and shackled and being brutalized here? Yes. It's not even really known exactly how many Africans were enslaved because of the fact that the records have never been maintained very well. During the Civil War, Newark, New Jersey, especially provided uniforms for Southern Army. It helped clothe the Confederate soldiers. It also provided battle gear for battles. The founders of the country were actually slaveholders, especially the uh, signers of the Declaration of Independence for this region. John Hart was a slave owner. Historians and our school books don't really talk about the uh, impact of slavery in this area and how it mirrored the South. They captured young, strong, intelligent Africans, brought people here and then enslaved them so that people could make money. That's all it was about. That's all it was about. 
In researching if these stones could talk, the information that I found out, uh, I, I did not know that the African Americans that lived in this community, the descendants, uh, the ancestors were the founding black families for uh, this region, for Hopewell, for Pennington, for Amwell, for Skillman. And uh, we've been here since the beginning of colonial times.